Good morning, everyone, from a very dull no. Here's the route for today. We're going east. As you can see, we're actually only going to go 9.9 .9 miles, which isn't very far. However, we're going to do this big squiggle. All on the river, no canals today. There's going to be two locks. It is quite windy up here. And then once we get to the top of the river, there's a canal there. We will take canals north, uh, south, and then it's going to be much faster. So we're leaving Mo, the home of Brie Cheese. Okay. Yep. Jump on. Okay. Or uh Yeah, we're good. You can jump on. We're good. Just we may just bump the edge here. Perfect. <laughs> My little last And away we go. Do you want me to take this down? Uh, I'm thinking maybe we can use it as a kind of a sail because the wind's co coming at us from behind. Oh, yeah. so it'll catch the wind a bit more and give us a, an extra bit of boost. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Amazing wildlife and city life mixture. Today we're using the autopilot. You just adjust it now and again, plus or minus 10 or plus or minus one. And obviously, you just need to keep an eye on the river and press the button to adjust it. It's much easier than holding the tiller all the time. And the way the boat's configured, it's not great for sitting and looking out. Visibility is not that good because of the high top sides of the boat. So this is just easier, I think. Minus 10. This was the lot that we came out Yeah, we came out of here yesterday. We didn't film it. it started raining, although it stopped raining. <laughs> we only this lock. We only moved down by this much, half a foot, I think. Now we're going off course a little bit. Minus ten, and we're turning. Nice riverside entertainment. Man-made. Beach. Proper tree house. <laughs> Check out how much layers I'm wearing and uh, weather and Check out Mark. <laughs> Topless. I'm trying to get rid of my t shirt, fast. <laughs> and the Mar River is beautiful. Now we have the other advantage of the lockdown. We've tasted the not advantage of the lockdown, but now we're experiencing the good part. Such wide river for just us. Here's a little port de plaisance. Are these little port de plaisance? Port de plaisance? I don't know how you say it. They usually charge about. Uh, 10 euros a, a night, water, electricity, shower facilities. Bit nasty that way. Lovely that way.
got it? You wanna see my hat? <laughs> Ooh la la! A lot of fallen trees. Shame. What a shame. First boat we encountered. Wow, really good maneuver. Wow, it's, it's cool. This tree house is amazing. Look how tall the stairs are. So now, after improving our French a little bit, we can now say that we're going upstream, which is amazing because when we call the lock keeper, we can call maybe five minutes before and we can just say, we're a pleasure boat, we're going upstream, and then they'll say, oh, they'll prepare the lock for us. Previously, we just said, we arrived at the lock and then we radioed them and we had to wait 20 minutes for them to prepare it and it was just a pain in the ass. And if there was another river boat there, that would go first because they got, they've got priority. So yeah, it's been really useful. Anyway, we're coming up to a lock now. Uh, usually, about 0.5 miles, I give them a call. It usually takes us about five, six minutes to get there. But that boat that just came past means that the locks probably, unless there's another boat on the other side, is probably set up for us. So you're gonna do it? Is it right? Did I yeah, do it? he might understand. Okay. Eclus il le meldus to Montandre. Second time. No response. We just saw the lock keeper running out from the house <laughs> and going to the bridge now. <laughs> so cute. This is my lock outfit. Left jacket and gloves. <laughs> the cowgirl is on duty. Here we go. The Yunnan cowgirl on the ropes. But look at the dirty wall. Woo! Some nice different scenery. Say again. Nice farming thing. Yeah, and now we have uh, a little lock activator. So we do it by remote control for the next few locks. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Second barge of the day. Ariane. We're being chased by a big black cloud. What's this? What? What's this like seeing something and just... It's epic music, all right? Okay. This season, you're gonna notice a difference in the music. That's because we don't want to pay to use like the music from the website we were using previously so we're gonna record our own music on the guitar and uh, anyone else who wants to provide us with any music that would be amazing and there is the lock so the black cloud has caught up with us so we're all hooked up There is a phone there, Marcus talking to someone. It's not a phone, it's just a button and then you call someone. So the reason was because the controller wasn't programmed. So if uh, the person Mark is trying to get on hold now cannot answer, we will have to go out to the waiting. Give us an update. Someone's coming to help us. Nice. Good. I didn't want to reverse out of here. 
Yeah, with the rain, I think it'll be really hard. The lock, the door is closing, but the only one is closing. Finally, leaving the lock. How long did it take us? Uh, that one took us about an hour and a half. <laughs> so when you're planning the trip, remember to plan the locks. I fell asleep for maybe 20 minutes. <laughs> Mark is on his favorite spot, chilling. And Nadiana is on her favorite spot to be, steering. Now we're entering our spot, hopefully free, we'll see. A Navionics user edited the destination to say that it's got free water and electricity. So that would be interesting. So the marker boy is just in front. Looks like a big panish has taken over our our free site. Oh, there is a little wooden sailboat there. Nice boat. There's no cleats on it. So we go on the next one. Let's put it in neutral now. Do everything with my foot. Turn in. Wait till we get closer. Turn out. And then with the foot. Get her in reverse. Nariana, the Yunnan cowgirl jumped off. Perfectly, nice one. Easy peasy. Nothing easier than getting onto a pontoon like this. Uh, engine, off. engine off. The boss has spoken. Boop. Oh. Voila. <laughs> what a spot this is. Fantastic. How about that? How about that? Time to see how much fuel we've used over the last two days. So these are 10 litre cans. Ten litres. Alright, 15 litres. So I think it's two litres per hour. So that would mean that would mean we've been going for seven and a half hours, but we've actually been going more than that. So it's better than two litres per hour, so that's not bad. So on that pontoon, it was actually free electricity and free water. So a guy who was parked just in front of us, he'd locked the door open and he said, it's controlled by the mafia, this. <laughs> I, I wish we got it on camera, but anyway, uh, that was a few days ago now. We're actually, we've made a little bit more progress down the canal, so please stay tuned and uh, keep watching the videos and you'll see everything that happens. It gets a little bit dramatic in the next video, so I hope you enjoy that. So if you did like it, please like the video and uh, let us know some comments and subscribe if you're not already. Also, share the video, that would be nice. Uh, thank you very, very much to all these amazing people, honestly. It's very, 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 very much appreciated. Um, what we're gonna start doing soon is we're gonna start doing some coffee only material. Um, so all you guys that have, that have helped us with coffee and PayPal, uh, we're gonna do some extra little videos there. So thank you very much to you guys. Um, and everyone else, thank you. And see you on Friday. Time goes so quickly. See you on Friday for the next video. Bye-bye.